Big hype this time around the launch of the OnePlus 8 series, and we got some more good information today about the OnePlus 8 Pro expected to be launched a little earlier this year than it was last year. So we have for a long time now seen what the OnePlus 8 series is going to look like. Thanks to OnLeaks a long time ago, we got our first look at the design of the OnePlus 8 series from the OnePlus 8, the OnePlus 8 Pro, and also the OnePlus 8 Lite, which we've actually seen little glimpses of recently. They switched to a hole punch display this time around, getting rid of the pop-up camera. So the screen to body ratio is going to take a tiny little hit. But I think most of us don't really mind this, and this definitely is the next step in screen design before we move to underscreen cameras. But in any case, we did get some concrete information today about at least the OnePlus 8 Pro. Coming this time with a Geek Bench score, which does show a really fantastic result. Obviously, the OnePlus 8 phones will be using the brand new Snapdragon 865 processor. The phone just registered a benchmark score from the Geek Bench test with a single core score of 49.6 and a multi-core score of 12.531. So this new chipset is running at about 20-25% higher than we saw with the Snapdragon 855 and 855 Plus. This particular test shows that the OnePlus 8 Pro, which is the phone that was used to run the test, is running 12 gigabytes of RAM. This should be the top end or the highest spec version of the phone, but there have been a lot of rumors out of China that have said actually the entire series, that's both the OnePlus 8 and the 8 Pro, will come with 12 gigabytes of RAM as standard. We'll have to wait and see if this is actually the case, but I hope there is a cheaper version of the phones with maybe eight gigabytes of RAM, and I think most people would probably prefer to go for that one. The fact that this test has been published already means that we are not that far away from the release of the OnePlus 8 phones. It will certainly be after Chinese New Year, but it depends when Oppo want to release their new flagship phone, the Find X2, because they won't want to release both of these flagship phones too close together. The Snapdragon 865 though in general is ready to go. It's been ready this year earlier than the equivalent 855 was last year. So we should see flagship phones in general coming earlier than they did last year. Another big bit of news regarding OnePlus is that they have scheduled an event for next week right here in Shenzhen where their head offices are to introduce new screen technologies. This could possibly be information about future phones, maybe some more concept phones or under screen cameras but most likely it's just going to be detailing the type of screens and specs on those screens that we'll be getting in the OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro. It is heavily expected that OnePlus are going to be moving to 120 hertz refresh rates in their screens from 90 hertz, at least in the 8 Pro and possibly also in the OnePlus 8. OnePlus have already confirmed that 90 hertz is the absolute bottom limit that they'll be using in all of their phones. So obviously with the advent of 120 hertz in more and more phones, we expect them to be using it in all their upper tier phones. So expect at least the top end phone to have 120 hertz, 5G, Snapdragon 865, and also LPDDR5 RAM. The two big questions I still have about these phones is firstly with the camera, and secondly with the charging. There have been rumors in China that OnePlus are testing out a brand new tailor-made camera sensor made by Sony, and that would help give much better quality on their camera, somewhere that they need to improve if they wanna become a real flagship phone. And the second is, is this the year that they are going to put wireless charging in the OnePlus phones? Because really, if they're going to be flagship phones, they need a very good camera and wireless charging because all other flagship phones have those specs. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and everything to do with OnePlus. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.